Now at this stage you've got the ATC hung, you've got the airlines plumbed, the compressor on and hooked up, you've performed the electrical installation, you would go through and do the software installation that's covered in the manual. I've already installed the ATC software on this machine so we're going to go ahead and fire it up. You're presented with a message asking if it's okay to cancel reset, yes, and whether it's okay to reference Z. We're now going to walk through the fine tuning of the alignment of the ATC. So I'll go to the ATC setup screen on the control software. And I'm going to click go to tray load position. point I'm, I've loosened the flange bolts that hold the square bracket to the mill column and I'm going to get the spindle nose roughly centered in the carousel open, open there so and I'm keeping an eye on the bubble level here Just snugging these up. Now I'm going to verify that the spindle nose is roughly in the center of the carousel door opening. It doesn't have to be perfect, uh, it just has to have clearance on both sides, so I think we're good in that adjustment. Now we're going to take a look at the tilt of the tool changer. What we're looking for here is to make sure that a tool held in the tool changer, that shank of the tool is uh, running along the same axis as the spindle. So what I have here is just an ER20 collet tool holder and I've just got a 12-inch uh, piece of tubing stuck in there. doesn't really matter what diameter tubing you use, you just need something that's uh, a good 12-14 inches long. So the machine is in tray load position on the ATC screen and I'm just manually going to insert that guy into one of the open uh, forks. Now you can get pretty close just, to, just by eyeballing uh, the way this dowel sits when it's hanging in the tool holder in the carousel fork, but if you want to really dial it in you could take a 1-2-3 block or any precision uh, square on the mill table and I'm just for sake of the video here I'm going to go ahead and put uh, a little piece of aluminum up next to it and if you look along these two shafts you can see we have fairly good alignment if anything we could adjust the tilt of this so it's sitting a little bit more like that but uh, I'd say we're looking pretty good here if we did want to dial it in a little closer, at this point I just have those flange nuts along the square mount, square tube mount. Uh, they're snug down so I could take a mallet, give this a tap, uh, and bring it into perfect alignment. Why don't we go ahead and do that? Obviously you, you don't want to go beating on this thing anywhere. Uh, don't go hitting the cylinder or the linear rails or the motor, uh, but back here on the square tube pretty safe to, to give it a few taps, so I'm just going to give it a, a tap or two, see if I can nudge it in. And I think we're probably pretty good. Now let's go ahead and we'll do the tilt on X. <clears throat> and you can see there that we're quite a bit off. So for the X tilt adjustment, You'll remember these M8 socket head cap screws that we snugged down when we assembled the carousel to the square tube mount. Right under them are two eccentric hex head fasteners. I'm just going to take a half inch wrench and you'll notice, keep an eye here, as I turn this it's going to bring that into alignment.
One more little turn on this should do it. Ooh, pretty close. So now that we have everything about where we want it, things look pretty good as far as the tilt in the X plane uh, and in the Y plane. I'm going to go ahead and tighten all the fasteners involved. Uh, that would be the socket head cap screws that hold the carousel onto the square tube mount. See me fasten now. And I'm going to go ahead and cinch down the flange nuts on the square tube now. All right. One last check. To make sure nothing changed when we were doing that. And things look pretty good. The next step is going to be adjusting the XY location of the tool fork during a tool change. So that's where the spindle nose comes down over the top of this tool fork. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take our alignment tool out of the carousel and then I'm going to jog the z-axis down until the spindle nose is just above the tool fork. On the ATC setup screen under the alignment section you'll see three buttons reference tool tray It just indexes the tool tray. You'll see uh, minus minus and plus plus buttons. These two buttons adjust the angular position of the tool holding fork. This fork is not centered directly under the spindle. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that minus minus button until it is centered right under that spindle nose. You'll want to adjust the position of the fork directly under the spindle nose by holding the fork between, say, your forefinger and thumb and wiggling it back and forth. You can feel there's a little backlash in, in the mechanism, and that's good. You need that play for the tool change. But you'll want to adjust it by wiggling it back and forth and feeling that you're right in the center of that backlash centered under the spindle. All right. We're almost done with our alignment procedure. Two last steps. We've got to adjust the tool change position in X, that is how far the carousel slides in before the spindle comes down and engages the tool. And then we're going to adjust the tool change position in Z, that is how far the, the head comes down over the tool shank. So to adjust the X position, take any old tool holder, it doesn't have to be your, your dowel tool holder, I just happen to have this here. We're going to put it into the fork. The only way to adjust this X tool change position is to kind of crane your neck under here and have a look and see whether that spindle is centered over the tool shank. And if it's not, you're going to be adjusting the jam nut at the end of the air cylinder. So in this case, this whole carousel needs to come forward about 20 thou for the tool to be centered under the spindle. So what I'm going to do here is, my Z axis is up out of the way, I'm clear of that spray out on the ATC screen, and I'm going to be adjusting this jam nut here. All right, uh, six, 17 millimeter socket here. Loosen this guy up a little bit. Push forward on that mechanism, and there's one in back. Now, I'm not going to bother tightening that down yet because we're going to be doing this a couple times to make sure we got the right spot, but let's give that a try. I'll have a look. Pretty close.
close. It looks like I want a couple, couple turns too far. So I'm going to go ahead and tray out, make the adjustment, and we'll come back in to check. Making sure I'm clear of the shank here. Dial that guy back a little bit. This time I will snug this up. So we're going to check this alignment once. good. So the proof that we've done this right is as you jog the spindle over the tool holder, that dowel should not move. If you have more than a quarter inch of movement at the end of that dowel, repeat the alignment procedure. It's critical to get this right. Um, it'll save you a lot of headaches down the road if you take your time with the alignment and get it perfect. So let's have a look. Looks pretty good. The last step is setting the Z tool change height. So what I'm going to do is jog the Z axis down until the spindle nose just touches the TTS tool holder shoulder. Then on the ATC setup screen, set tool change Z. Now for a trial run. Uh, I'll go ahead and put a tool in the spindle. I'll call it tool one. Alright, well that concludes our video on how to mount and align the ATC. I uh, hope you enjoy this Torok product and good luck making chips!